today we're going to do pizzas on the grill. This is the Tiny Houseboat Mystic Pizzeria. <laughs> yes, it's as close to a brick oven as you can get. Yeah. So Steve, one of the neighbors here in the basin where we have our houseboat, taught me how to do this. And uh, it's a pretty simple process, but I got a little bored. Um, I'm gonna do just a little bit more. But I, you dust the whole thing with cornmeal. And what the cornmeal does is it allows it to slide off onto the grill. And it also uh, gives it a little bit of crunch. So the dough that I got, I just get it from Publix. It's like $4.50 and it's, it comes already done, ready to roll. And then I'm using the... But you can make your own too. Yeah. You could also shape it into a heart since today is Valentine's mm. Day. But we'll, I don't we'll have do the skill set for that. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, but the Rayo's marinade, we like Rayo's everything because right. uh, it's all really simple ingredients. But uh, like Steve taught me, it, it doesn't take a lot of sauce. So probably about two spoonfuls. It might take a little bit more. more. We'll do one more. And we're doing margarita pizzas, right? Mm -hmm. Margarita pizzas. So Leslie didn't get flowers for Valentine's Day. She got a sweet basil plant. It's the gift that keeps giving. And it's gonna give us a delicious meal. So the cheese, I buy mozzarella cheese and then I bought a five cheese Italian blend. It was like blend, yeah. Romano and Parmesan and just all the different Italian blends. And then I'm just going to sprinkle that on there. Probably going to take two of them. Move it around. And the basil plant, we washed it real good. I just washed the whole plant. You know, watered it and kind of washed the leaves off because we didn't want to... I don't know if they use chemicals on it or not. So the margarita pizza is sweet basil and tomatoes. And I bought the tomatoes. I already cut them real thin. Um, the real sharp knife, you just cut them real, real thin. And we're just going to set these on here. And Leslie made a salad to go with this. Pretty simple salad, right? Very simple. Yeah, just mixed greens, spring mix, and blue cheese crumbles, a few tomatoes. And we're gonna do a French blue cheese salad. So I got French dressing. So, and Ken's to me is always the best unless you're making your own from scratch. So that's, that's it. Cool. Simple and delicious. Awesome. All right. And we're just gonna break that up and pull it into little pieces and spread it around the pizza. And um, the hotter the grill, the better. I always shoot for like 500 degrees. So you close it up, get it going full blast. And I got a pizza stone. You can get them on Amazon. It's about that thick squared off you'll see it when i get when we get out there on the grill but it's uh i, I believe the thicker the better because they really hold that heat and they cook the pizza real good um you can't forget the cornmeal because it'll stick to the pizza stone you'll have a hot mess um but that's it we got some toppers to go what we got grated parmesan cheese and we're gonna do some crushed red pepper probably a little spice yes and that's it but the, yeah that quickly you set a pizza up the, and you can make the dough, but I just get it from Publix, set it out an hour or so before, let it get warmer, and then get the grill really like hot, room, throw your ingredients, tap. like I said, and it'll probably take five to seven minutes. So this is a great uh, thing, so good. and we don't have a lot of people coming tonight, but it's a great party thing, because if people show up at different times, which make happens them, as all go. the time here, yeah. if we stay six o'clock, people show up between six and nine. So it's nice. You can have it on standby. Are you hungry? Throw a pizza on real quick, and it's ready to go. Yeah. So I got the grill almost hot enough. I'm going to run this out there, and I'll show you through the process of cooking it. So and if you smack this basil before you utilize it in your cooking, it releases that aroma. So, it, yeah, it's not my ag aggression. Smack it. Yeah, just smack it up a little bit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it makes it more flavorful. Let's head out to the grill. Ooh, breeze. All right, guys, we're at the grill. We're 475. We got the pizza ready to roll. 
And this is the pizza stone I was telling you about. And uh, the trick is to slide this on, like so. Close the hatch and give it about seven minutes. And we'll check it out then. All right, it's been about six minutes, seven minutes. Check it. Looking right. And that's it. Margarita pizza. We're gonna let that cool a little bit. And then we're gonna do some damage to it. All right, guys, this looks pretty good. I need a uh, pizza cutter, babe. One of the- uh, You are our pizza cutter. You did a great job over there. All right, <laughs> I don't know about that. Is dressing? Right. Dressing. Isla, come here. We're gonna let Isla do the first test. Can I have five? Can I have five? Give me five. Give me five. Sit, give me five. Good girl, thank you. She's a good girl. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I think she likes it. All right, it's not too hot. That's awesome. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah, that is so good. Very good. Mm. Good job. Thank you. Awesome. Happy Valentine's Day. Top bottom. Here. Can you sit? Give me five. Give me five. Good girl. Give me five. Give me five. Good girl. Well, we're going to enjoy this. I'm going to throw the other one on there. Thanks for watching. Valentine's Day on behalf of the Mystic Tiny Houseboat Pizzeria, <laughs> Salty Bushwhacker Pizzeria, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Actually, leave a comment in there. Should it be Salty Bushwhacker Pizzeria? Should it be Bushwhacker Pizzeria, the Mystic Pizzeria, Tiny Houseboat Pizzeria, Isla's Pizzeria? That's right. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. It's a way of living.